in 6-1 up, four away from the title in that first prize of £125,000. Looking to score his 30th career win over O'Sullivan, who has 35 wins. Higgins, of course, won their most recent encounter at the Masters last month. And again, O'Sullivan going all out for the red, but not getting too close to it. A performance that has just been typical of everything Higgins has done this week. Clinical when he's had the chances. One or two errors at the back end of the previous oh. frame, but... Bring O'Sullivan for... One. But this time he's thumped it in. That's more like it. Well, he's played that very nicely. No. His best contribution, his only real contribution of the afternoon. Give himself something to 16. build on tonight. Twenty-four. Not holding back again. Yeah, it was well cued. He got the better of Ding Zhongwei in a decider, made an excellent break in the final frame of that match. Coming back to win 6-4. And he's going to have to show some real fight. Racing round the table here. His average shot time in this first session, under 17 seconds. And at times, one or two of his shot selections have raised the eyebrow in terms of... This is more like it. 54. In a blur. Sixty-two. This black and one more red. And he should have reduced the arrears to four frames, which is a commanding lead. O'Sullivan has sniffed tonight if he can find some of that Seven. trademark inspiration of his. Win the first couple of frames. But this is a lot more like it. 78. And the possibility of the highest break of the tournament and the £10,000 that goes with it. So Barry might have cause for concern here with the way O'Sullivan's potting now. Having to watch a frame from his chair. 94. He's well aware of his greatness. He describes him as the best player of all time. So far it's been quite a lopsided final, but this is just a reminder of his 35th century of the campaign. One hundred and ten. Got him with a terrific long red. And this is as good as it gets from O'Sullivan. One hundred and ninety. For comfort for him, but better late than never. 126. From the best break of the tournament. 131. Yet another outstanding display of all round match play snooker from him, including two century clearances. With the best break of the week, a 144 total clearance. And now closing in on the title. Five clear once again. Led 6-1 this afternoon before O'Sullivan made the highest break of the week. A 144 total clearance. Higgins having made 142 and 138. One. Well, that's not a bad start. Terrific red.
will go for his shots. It's just a question of how many he can get. Bang. Final to a final interval. Higgins would have win the remaining three frames of this mini session. We wouldn't need. Seven. Well, what a shot he's played there. Goodness me. Yeah. That's got to be one of the shots of the tournament. I mean, this is a decent chance for O'Sullivan to hit straight back. That was a fabulous shot. Forty-six. Allowed it to drop. Fifty-four. And this has been a very sweet break to this point from O'Sullivan. Sixty-two. Nicely queued, and Higgins would need a snooker. O'Sullivan continuing to fly around the table when he is frame ball. 68. Early in the first frame of the evening, but he's made amends in this one. 74. We know what he's capable of when he gets on a roll. Eighty-two. And now we are guaranteed a final interval. Ten, of course, the target for the title. If O'Sullivan could win the next two and go in to that interval at 7-5 down. In the meantime, closing in on his second century of this final. 97. And it's been a typically 98. bright and breezy contribution from the great man. One hundred and five. Hundred and ten. Ronnie Sullivan, one hundred and ten. A tremendous break from Ronnie O'Sullivan to respond to the disappointment of losing the first of the evening when he missed a couple early. A second century at this final for him.